right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, evening. It is approximately 7.45 p.m. on, oh boy, whatever day this happens to be, I'm not sure. I think it's a Wednesday. It feels like a Wednesday, so it's probably Tuesday. <laughs> but uh, in tonight's video, we are going to be replacing the thermostat in the 97F250 here. Now, I shot a video last night that you guys have probably already seen. Uh, I was very suspicious this truck has had a head gasket failure, and to be quite honest with you, I am still very suspicious that this truck has had a head gasket failure. It passes the exhaust gas test in the cooling system, so theoretically the head gasket's okay. I'm not convinced, but in any case, we are putting a new thermostat in this truck. Uh, you can see this is a thermostat housing right here, so what we're going to do is pull the upper radiator tube. Uh, I'll explain kind of what this is when we get down in there. You can see winter has arrived. Uh, this pickup has been sitting parked and all the snow you see under the hood is just from the wind blowing it in there. The wind has been running about 60 miles an hour today. That's not a joke, that's not an exaggeration, that's, uh, that's Wyoming. So the reason we are doing a new thermostat is because over the last few days, this truck has began blowing coolant out the overflow tank right here. Uh, that's a big problem. That should not be happening. The most common cause of that is a failed head gasket, cracked head, etc. something else fairly serious along those lines, and you get cylinder pressure into the cooling system. But... As you guys saw in that other video, my cooling system is passing the dye test for gas in the, uh, in the coolant. So according to that, I do not have a blown head gasket. So the next potential culprit is a failed thermostat not allowing coolant to flow and causing pressure to build up where it should not be. Now, this wire right here that I'm disconnecting, this is not a factory wire, obviously. I do need to run that in some split loom yet, but that is for the uh, auxiliary gauge, the other coolant gauge I actually added to this pickup. And the reason I added it is because the forward gauges on this body style are not actually gauges. They're, they're fancy warning lights. They look like gauges, but they don't actually measure uh, anything. So let's shoot. We're at 54 degrees on the engine side, and we're at 35 degrees on the radiator side. So we're going to let this run for a little while. We're going to go for a ride. Let's hit it. You watch, I'll get down the road away from the house, away from my tools, away from everything, and that's when something will pop. Just watch, that's how things go. Oh, show you kind of what I'm talking about when I, when I mention the drifts and things we get here. You can see this road is mostly clear from this point, but we just went through a couple drifts, and as we come over this hill, you're going to see a few more. Uh, you know, our problem is not typically the amount of snow we get, it's the way it drifts. All right, so we have test driven, and as you guys can see, the temperature gauge is sitting right around, as I'm pulling up here, let's see where it's sitting. It is sitting right at, right under 220 degrees, which is um, a little warm, but I suspect part of that may be due to low coolant because after what we lost from the leak and then what was drained to remove the thermostat, I should probably pop the hood if I would like to open it. That generally helps. Yeah, we're not leaking. That's good. All right. So you guys just saw us go for the test drive. You saw our temp gauge is reading right around 200, which is not uh, not bad. A little warm maybe, but I'm going to let it sit here and idle. 
it's going to build up pressure in the cooling system again. Once it builds pressure, I'll shut it off. We'll come back out and check, see if it's leaking, and go from there. So I'll catch up with you here in just a couple minutes. Hey guys, it's a little later in the evening and I came out here to double check. You can see I've left the hood up. The truck's not puking anything out of the coolant reservoir anymore. Uh, it is running about where it should be temperature wise. And I am going to say we got this one fixed. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And more later. Hey, come on girls.